So I'm back home. What an unbelievable game. 5-0. I, words can't describe how proud I am of these boys. Cannot be described. I mean, we got two goals by Gabriel Martinelli. One goal by Reese Nelson. Another goal by Rob Holden. And one goal by Joe, uh, Joe Willock. We had four different goal scorers. This is what Arsenal need. What a game. And this is a game that I predicted was going to be tough. I knew we were going to score a lot of goals. But I thought, you know what, defensively, I, I, I don't know. But wow, very, very impressed. Um, there, I, I think every player stood up just to say, you know what, don't forget about me. I'm here. I can, I can bring it. We saw the return, and the, we saw the return of Hector Bellerin. We saw the return of Rob Holden. As I said, he scored. We saw the debut of Kieran Tierney. Forgive me for my voice. I have been shouting and screaming and just so jubilated and excited about the Arsenal. Uh, if you want to check out some of the videos of the goals and my reactions live, check out my Twitter page at King Um, I've, I've got them all there as well as my Instagram page. But what a game. First goal comes from Gabriel Martinelli. I mean, I think it was Reese Nelson on the left, like sprays the ball to um, Callum Chambers, who was also brilliant, by the way. Callum Chambers doesn't even take like, a first touch, he he just uh, volleys it towards the path of Martinelli and Martinelli gets the header top right-hand corner. Martinelli's work rate in this game was phenomenal. Absolutely stupendous. Like, the guy was brilliant. Brilliant, I tell you. Like, I, 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 knew, he, I knew he was a good player. I knew he was going to be a good prospect. And I knew this was going to be the type of games that he would get. But if he keeps playing like this, he will be like, I don't know what's going to happen to um, Florin um, Balogun because if Martinelli's playing this good, playing up front as a striker, boy, like, I don't know if he's going to get a chance. That means that Nketi is going to have to make sure that he fix up and look sharp because Martinelli's on his toes. Uh, I, I thought, so impressed with Martinelli. Um, and I think that there's more to come with him. I think he's going to, you know, get a lot more game time uh, in the Europa League. Uh, more games in the Carling Cup. And I will forever call it the Carling or, or League Cup. as your Carabao Cup. You, you know what I mean? Uh, when the FA Cup starts, uh, I think we'll probably be in the third round. Uh, he will get games there as well. I think it'll be pretty rare for him to get games in the Premier League. But... If he's scoring two goals against a championship side, uh, when there are tons of Premier League strikers like Tammy Abraham, who got a lot of their goals so far in the championship, why not Gabriel Martinelli? Martinelli is, show, is showing that he could have the potential to play in the Premier League. And now with Lacazette injured, maybe Martinelli should be on the bench. Maybe Martinelli should be the backup. I mean, he can also play on the left as well, along with Saka. You know, th this is um, this is a good problem to have for Unai Emery. A little bit of a difficult one, especially when Lacazette comes back. But um, this is a good problem. It's a good problem for the fans. The fans are, go are going to love this. Uh, second goal, I believe, was Joe Willock. So Joe, uh, again, just being at the right place, the right time, his energy, his attacking prowess, his work rate, phenomenal. Um, I think there were probably only a couple of chances, a couple of times when he didn't track back where Lucas Torre in midfield was left a little bit exposed. And that's the only thing that I would say that was really difficult when playing Mesut Ozil in that midfield because Ozil never really tracked back and because... Um, Willock also likes to go forward and, and track back as well there were times when it was you were capable of exploiting that uh, and I think Forrest exploited it I would say two to three times 
But we got Manchester United on Sunday, and they could potentially exploit it then. But I said it in my last video that our midfield needs to have Torreira and Willock in there. Whoever else that you want to put in there um, will work just fine. Whether it be in Granite Xhaka, uh, Matteo Guendouzi, Meza Ozil. Um, in, I'm really interested to see what Maitland-Niles could do within central midfield as well. He's got lots of pace, lots of power, lots of work rate. I think he could potentially do... Um, uh, do a very good job there so i'm um, really looking forward to seeing how that turns out uh who else oh uh then there was rob holden so rob holden comes on scores the third goal set piece really good goal from very happy for him that he managed to score the uh the, the third goal of the game you know, the front fans were so happy to have him back. Everybody knows the quality that he, he can give. And I think a lot of the fans are just hoping that he's going to start uh, against Manchester United on Sunday. Not sure what that's going to look like yet. The same thing goes for some of the other players who I'll talk about in a sec. But Rob Holden definitely made himself known uh, in this game. Uh, yeah, so again, brilliant performance by him. Uh Fourth goal, Reese Nelson. I mean, cross comes in from Tierney, um, and he just hits it one time um, past the goalkeeper. And you know what? He he played well. He he deserved the goal. Uh, I believe he had a goal, as well as an assist. Uh, in this game, maybe a couple of assists. I'm not quite sure, but I'll check the stats with that on on what our Reese Nelson has done so far this season. But um, it's a game where he's improved himself. I still believe that he has another mile that he can go, Reese Nelson. Uh, so it's one of those where I'm happy for him, but I want more. I want more from Reese. Reese Nelson is a player who I I said when I first saw him, I could see a star right there. Uh, and I still believe he's, he's a star uh, in the making. Um, fourth goal, goal. No, sorry, that was the fourth. Fifth goal. The fifth goal came from another goal. Last minute at a game comes from Gabriel Martinelli. Drives the ball in the box. Uh, beats, I think, two players. But he still has a couple of defenders on him. Gets gets a bit of luck on it with a little bit of a deflection. But we all know that that goal was going to be on target. And then he, he gets the second. And um, it's a wonderful round off. Martinelli hits a brace. Uh, in the game, and then we've got three other different goal scorers uh, in the game with Reese Nelson, who's obviously your wide player. You got your central midfield slash attacking midfield player in Joe Willock, and you got your probably one of your better defenders in um, Rob Holden uh, doing well and, and also getting a goal. I, I mean, just a fantastic performance. Now, normally in these videos, I like to give you like a top five best players and I automatically would have uh, the players that played today, but uh, players that scored really. But I, I do have to say that I have to give it a big shout out to everyone in this game. So starting from at the back, uh, Martinez um, is probably the only one that I would say hardly had anything to do and that's because our defense was just resolute. But anything that really came this way was he was pretty solid in in his defensive duties, and just did a really good solid job. Cannot complain one bit about Martinez. Then we had at right back, Callum Chambers. Oh my fucking god, Callum Chambers is a boss. Chambers is a boss. Like this guy, it, his performance again. Again, again, I've said it three times. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. He was defensively solid. He got forward when, when needed be, knew exactly when to get forward and when, when to stay back. And, I, I mean, his, just everything about him, I mean, was just so much better than Maitland Niles at right back. So much. Unai, it's time to change this maintenance Niles project. I get it. You saw the potential in him to be a versatile player that could play as a fullback and as a center, center, central midfield player. 
It's not going to work. Maybe he needs to go out on loan to learn different aspects of the football game. I don't know. But Callum Chambers has been out on loan, what, twice now? Comes back at Arsenal and he looks like an even better player than he was two to three years ago. So well done for Callum Chambers. He was absolutely brilliant in this game. I, I would have given him an 8-9 quite easily uh, in this game. Have nothing to complain about. Then the centre-back uh, pairing, Rob Holden and Skodran Mustafi. Rob Holden, I've already spoken the praises about this guy. Like, brilliant. Skodran Mustafi, pretty solid. You can tell that his confidence was low. Um, and that he just was trying to do the simple things like well. Uh, but I thought he, he did it well. And as the game progressed on, he tried to do a little bit more and... A lot of that came off really well. So well done to Scott Drum Mustafi in this game. Left back, Kieran Tierney. Brilliant debut. Managed to get an assist uh, in the game. Um, defensively, again, I thought he was pretty solid. Uh, especially with having a lot of the players around him. I, again, can't fault him. Didn't really do anything wrong. You could tell, you could see some leadership uh, qualities in him as well he knows his game he knows how to play it. he knows how to create chances as well which is really really important so Kieran Tierney absolutely excellent uh, and brilliant performance by him today obviously I've spoken about Joe Willock in midfield Lucas Torreira uh, again another solid performance by uh, Lucas Torreira he still for me doesn't look like he's 100% but there were so many times when you had players that were left in one-on-one -on -one situations with our defenders and it was Lucas Torreira tracking back to help those defenders so that they didn't have to deal with a lot of those situations by himself. And Lucas Torreira did absolutely phenomenal in, in the game. Really good, solid performance. Uh, it, in the, I, I, n I have nothing to criticize Lucas Torreira about. I just want to see more of Lucas Torreira in the game. Uh, and then starting on the right, but unfortunately he got injured in the game, was Emil Smith-Rowe. Now, Emil Smith-Rowe, he was doing pretty well. Um, probably deserved something out of the game uh, before he got injured. But uh, it was unfortunate that uh, he suffered a, a, a mild concussion from what I'm hearing uh, from Twitter. Uh, and... You know, it's, he's probably going to be out for a little while, but um, there's always going to be a place for Emil Smith Rowe. Talented player. He started the game off very well uh, until he got injured. And so for me, again, Smith Rowe, well done on your performance. Uh, who else have we got? Danny Sebalos. Sabios helped change the game. As soon as Mesut Ozil went off the pitch, who I thought also did pretty well, Mesut Ozil. But when Danny Seb uh, Ceballos came on, he changed the game. It meant that we now had three players in midfield working hard, tracking back, trying to score goals and trying to create chances. And that is a midfield that, that you need to have. That's something that even though I, I love Mesut Ozil's creativity, I disagree with the fact that he does need to do all of the gritty work as well. Like, he, Meza Ozil created some wonderful chances. There, there were times when he was taking two to three players away that it would allow guys like Reese Nelson and Joe Willock to have better chances to score goals and create chances for other players. That's what Meza Ozil brings. But you still need to track back when needed to. I've spoken about Reese and I've spoken about Gabriel Martinelli. But the fact of the matter is, this is a fabulous performance. By these young, by these young gunners, and you know, I look at that that back four that we, we played today, and three of that back four need to need to play. They they, they need to play. Um, I I know that we got Manchester United on on Monday, I believe Monday or Sunday, but they need to play. Um, and the midfield is closer to what I wanted. And I believe, I truly believe if we do not see these players play more often, Unai Emery is just playing a politics game. He's desperate to have Jacker in the side. He's desperate to have Guendouzi in the side. I don't think you could have all of them. I've said this time and time again in my videos. 
But guys, like, I want to hear your thoughts on this now. Like, I, I am all happy now. My, I've, I've lost a lot of my voice, as you can hear. Leave your comments below on what you think of the video because, uh, and the game, because you know what? The boys deserve this one. The boys deserve all the praise. Uh, and it's now off to the next one. So I will see you again next time. Peace.